Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Friendly Machine or Kindness Machine or whatever you want to call me, I'm not bothered, but today, whatever channel you're watching this on, whether it be the personal channel of mine, the Friendly Machine, or whether it be Kindness Clan, and bear in mind, if you want to access the personal channel of mine as quick as possible on Kindness Clan, my link will be at the very top of the video description down below. We're almost at 7k, we're like less than 100 subscribers off at this time of me recording a video. So anyways, today, in this video that I'm recording for you guys right now, and obviously you're watching, I guess, is another Ultimate Class setup. Now, what differentiates this series, an Ultimate Class setup series, from a Best Class setup series? In this series, we try and cater to different playstyles rather than cater to different or actual specific guns in this series. So we pick out the best guns for best types of situations and best playstyles. And then that's not the be all and end all of the class setup. Obviously, we're using the right perks to aid this type of playstyle and then the right score streaks and even the right specialist ability and the right attachments on the gun altogether. And if we're using any like lethals or tacticals, then by all means, we'll be using the right ones of them as well. So basically, when I say we when I'm on about these class setups, I mean me because I'm a loner. I'm making this series by myself. But don't worry, guys. In today's video, I'm illustrating this class setup really well because I get a 55 kill TDM, non-lethal. Bearing in mind, I'm using the UAV counter UAV in the hater, so obviously I can't get any kills with my kill streaks that I'm even using because they only show things on the radar or block the radar. And for that reason, I'm having to run around by myself and actually get all of these kills with my own gun. Bearing in mind, we're only playing 6v6, so it only goes up to 100. So that's more than half the kills in the whole TDM with five of the people on my team able to get kills on other people around the map. And I managed to get 55 of those kills kills completely to myself only using my gun when I've got haters going up I've got UAVs going up so my team actually are aware of where these enemies are and they're not the best enemies in the world to start with anyways so you'd think that my teammates would just rush them all but apparently not apparently they didn't want to get as many kills as I did by myself this game the whole team included besides me they didn't want to team up and get as many kills as me I don't know why but anyways in the gameplay in the background it illustrates it really well a lot of clutchy situations and there is a few deaths here and there it's not like a nuclear medal or anything but there's really clutchy streaks and I thought you guys would really learn something from my commentary as well as the gameplay in the background because obviously if I'm telling you guys a good class setup or an ultimate class setup with a really dodgy gameplay in the background that I can't break down or describe to you guys or show off the class setup in itself to you guys, you aren't really going to believe me and you're going to be like, well this was just this was just a pointless class setup now wasn't it? So anyways, without any further ado, getting into the class setup, we're going to start out by talking about the gun in itself and then every aspect of the gun that I'm using on it meaning attachments. So anyways, the gun in itself, the CUDA like you guys have been seeing for nearly a two and a half minute period period right now or even more than that it's the CUDA it's a really good gun and obviously you guys know it's one of the best SMGs in the game and the reason I've chose this one for a rushing class setup when there's other guns that fire faster than this like the Vesper in itself that are really good at close range I picked this gun because when you're rushing in this game obviously because of the new movement system and different people's play styles being implemented on the enemy team as it is anyways whether you're playing an objective based game mode or TDM like I am in the background I honestly feel like Black Ops 3 is one of them call of duties where if you're using an SMG they're really powerful and dominant and effective yeah but you need to know how to use them and most of all even if you're rushing you need to know how to maintain their range with power and accuracy at them ranges at the same time so the CUDA is a really good example of this I'm not even using long barrel or anything I'm just using quick draw stock rapid fire and extending mags now even though I don't have grip on I'm maintaining my accuracy at them medium to moderate ranges by you know you'll see in the gameplay in the background it's not too much kick on the gun and it's really good at them ranges with damage as well so I've already maintained that already knocked that out of the water so you don't need to waste attachments on them type of specific things to buff on the gun at the same time like long barrel or even a grip you don't need it so if you're rushing you can actually counter these situations by just having a good gun in itself which is the CUDA and the perks I've got on this class that I think you guys should be using a bit differently I've got Ghost, Scavenger and Awareness. Now Awareness is the best perk in the game in my opinion. Ghost is also very good because it's underrated because not a lot of people seem to be using it in Black Ops 3 but I would use Overclock on this class. Now why Overclock? Because in itself in a game if you play through the whole 10 minutes of the game regardless of the game mode without even getting any kills you will obtain your specialist ability twice so with this being said if you have overclock on I tested this out in a private match you will get it three times so three times for doing nothing getting a token either kind of score streak that's overpowered or reward like combat focus like I've got in the background really effective and obviously if you're getting kills at the same time it goes up even faster so imagine how many of your specialist ability you'll be able to obtain so overclock a really good thing to use and then for the specialist ability like I started mentioning about there I'm using combat focus because I like to know where my enemies are obviously I'm using the UAV the counter UAV and the hater and for that reason getting them score streaks faster is only a good thing so combat focus is definitely good and this is mainly because if I get lucky at the same time of actually activating combat focus in itself I will be able to get a lot of points towards my score streak but in this increased chance case because I'm rushing around a lot I'll bump into more enemies and for that case I'm actually going to be getting more points towards my score streak regardless of what I'd be using if I was using something like an assault rifle or an LMG because I may not be rushing as much but with the CUDA it allows you to do that 
and it allows you to actually use combat focus really effectively. A lot of people might want to use overdrive because you can actually run faster with that, but in my opinion that's the best way to roll and that's basically a breakdown of everything I want to use. I mean the attachment which is extended mag I want to mention to you guys, I'm not using fast mags because I feel like if I'm ever in a situation where I actually get that lucky moment with combat focus being implemented and there's a lot of enemies around me, I want to be putting as many bullets out there into these enemies as I possibly can and at the same time if I get caught in a tricky situation where there's a lot of enemies as there is and I have to clutch it, turn ons and all that stuff like that, world star moments then, I want to have more bullets in the mag to start out with rather than being able to reload that little bit faster and obviously to aid having more bullets in itself, scavenger is a really good perk which is why I'm using that as well as extended mags because obviously if you're spraying and praying with the machine gun quite a lot running around at close range, that's what you want to be doing so thank you all for watching I'll your faces, slap here a like on the video down below and let me know what playstyle you guys want to see next and what you want me to cover so thank you all for watching I'll your faces as usual, peace out.